Hey, what's going on guys? It's Clever Ticky, and in this video we're going to learn PHP regular expressions. Okay, so this is a cheat sheet that I've created here, and I'm going to refer to it throughout this video. And if you guys want to download a full resolution of this image, I have a, uh, included a, a link in the description of this video. So if you like to download it, go ahead and do so. Okay, so first of all, I've... Let's go to a website called regex101.com. And uh, this is an awesome website that I've just discovered where you can practice regular expressions. And regular expressions, you can think of them as basically wildcards on steroids. So they're just uh, patterns for matching a text. And it's really useful if you're a web developer and if you don't want to match some content on websites you can easily do so with regular expressions as well as matching any other content um, at all so <clears throat> so for the test string I've included uh, this uh, test string in the description of this video as well and this is just a bunch of uh, text uh, that I found where we can uh, use this text to practice uh, using regular expressions on so I'm just going to uh, refer to this cheat sheet and we're going to go over some of these uh, quantifiers, character classes, groups and ranges, meta characters, as well as flags. So we're going to go over all this stuff and uh, I'm going to explain what most of these things mean. So let's go ahead and get started here. Okay, so the dot matches any character. So if we simply put dot here, it's going to match all the characters on here. And if I put star, it's going to match all the thing together. So basically what the star is, is just zero or more. So in this case, if we put any character follow, followed by the zero or more, this is something that matches basically all the content. So if you have a website or any other content, placing a dot and a star will match anything. And you've probably seen something like this, uh, which is a wildcard dot and a star followed by the TXT. For example, when uh, if I open up a notepad here and I go to file open, you're gonna see down here in the text documents, this is the exactly the exact regular expression uh, that's down here, which is a star and a dot followed by the TXT, which means it's gonna match all the files with uh, extension .txt. And there's another one down here, which basically says match any extension at all. And the star is, is, is exactly what that means, you know, match anything. So, all right, so that's how you match anything. And um, let's see here. Uh, okay, so plus just means one or more. So there has to be something to be matched, uh, whereas star it can be uh, it can match nothing or more then the question mark is when things get a little um, interesting okay so let me show you uh, the difference between the two so if I wanted to match these strong tags like for example if you have a if you have content on a website and for some reason you want to match all the HTML tags here is what you might do you might want to do this right so <clears throat> this is what is called um, this is called a greedy quantifier because what it will do here is it'll start with a literal opening angle bracket here and and then you will uh, what, what you're doing is basically you're expecting to match all the content and then and then basically you're trying to match this uh, strong tag here but instead this thing is greedy so it's gonna go ahead and match all the thing until it sees the the ending uh, angle bracket here and that's why it's called greedy because it'll match it'll consume all the content in between these uh, <clears throat> the uh, this angle bracket and this angle bracket here and uh, if you wanted to make it lazy you would put a you would <laughs> simply put a question mark here so now you can see that it's matching uh, the HTML tags like we wanted them to uh, and uh, it's also doing that here 
So that's the difference between uh, greedy and lazy matching or greedy and lazy quantifier. And that's what the question mark does. And usually I always use dot star followed by the question mark to make it non greedy. But there are cases where you do want to use the greedy one as well. Okay, let's go ahead and continue here. All right, so x, if you put the x, um, I mean, if you put the number inside the uh, curly brackets, that will mean uh, match it exactly this many times. And uh, if you uh, put a number and follow by the comma, you can say x or more times. And then you can also have uh, between x and y, which is uh, x and then comma y. So uh, you can say one to uh, comma five and that will match any digit between one and five. So just to give you an example here, let's go back here and uh, okay, so if I wanted to match a digit which uh, is a three, which is um, basically a three uh, digit number. So here I put a digit, so the uh, the backslash D matches a digit. If we go back here under character class, you'll see that for uh, backslash digit is a digit character. And I follow that with uh, the curly brackets three, which matches exactly, um, which matches the number or whatever exactly this many times. So this will match any three digit character. And this is exactly what it's doing here. It's matching all the three digit characters. Now, if you notice down here or, or um, on the right, you have us uh, regex options and the global one is turned on. So the global one will basically match all the matches on uh, on our string. So if I, uh, I just removed it, if I remove it, it's only gonna match the first one, but we do wanna match all of them. So we're gonna turn the global one on. And if you see here under flags, I will also include the G which is a modifier or you can call it a flag, which will ma match all the, the uh, matches that are found. And, and it'll keep going until it matches all of them. All right, so this is how we match a digit. And if we wanted a number between, for example, one and three, you can also do that. It'll match all the numbers between one and three. And that's how we do that. Or we can say one or more. That's That will match all the numbers between, um, because they all start with one. And if we did something like this, five or more, it'll match all the numbers from five or more. And this counts as a one number here because, well, because <clears throat> it's not separate by the space or anything like that. Okay, let's move on here. Uh, white space characters, we just use a, we use a backslash S and that'll match all the white space characters here. And uh, it's matching them right now then all the non-white space characters, which is a capital S, it's all the characters except the white space, and then all the digit characters, which we've already done, they'll be uh, backslash D, all the non-digit characters are matched with a capital D, and then uh, there's word and non-word, this is the word, and the word will also match the numbers as well, but it will not match special characters and spaces. So keep that in mind. And then uh, all the reverse of that is a non-word character, which is all the special characters and spaces. Okay, so next one is uh, groups and ranges. So we're gonna go over uh, a few of those. Okay, so we already know what the any character means, which is a dot will match anything. And then, um, if we put characters inside the round brackets and then separate them by uh, by the, I don't know what this character is called, but it's just, um, let's call it a, <laughs> a stick right now. I'm not sure what it's called. Hold on. Uh, okay, well, <laughs> let's just call it a separator. Oh. An alternator at this position effectively truncates the entire pattern. Okay, so I guess, okay, an alternator. It's called an alternator. Okay, so if we had something like this here, A or B, A, alt, alt, alternator, 
B. So it just means or. So as you can see, it's matching B and A or A and B, A or B, <laughs> and it's matching all of them here. Okay, that's cool. That's exactly what we wanted. Okay, if we do A, B or C, they'll match all the A, B and C. So you can uh, use that as um, if you wanted to match, for example, uh, hello or world, you can do so. It'll match hello and world. You can match the whole uh, words as well, as well as just characters. <clears throat> okay, that makes sense. Next one is a match single character that is A or B or C. So inside the square brackets, it's called a character class. So if we had this and we wanted to match some of the numbers here, this is how we list them. So this will list um, this will match all these characters that are inside the character class inside the square brackets here. Next, uh, we can have a negative range. So if we put a real little caret here inside the square brackets, it will match everything besides those characters that are inside the square brackets. And it will come really useful as we start parsing some website content later on. Okay, so next one is a range and the range will do exactly what it says. It will match all the range between A and Z. So that's why it's matching all the letters here. We can also capitalize that and um, they'll match all the capital letters which we have here. And that's exactly what it's doing and it's matching some other letters that we have, capital letters that we have throughout this test string. Okay, so next, uh, okay, so the digits, we can put uh, zero through nine, uh, close the character class and they'll match all the digits. We can test it out and see if it matches uh, zero to, through three and that's exactly what it's doing here. Okay, so uh, next is the meta characters which must be escaped. So if you're gonna be using any of these characters and you're gonna wanna, <clears throat> if you're gonna wanna match any of these, there have to be escape with, uh, with a backslash. So, for example, if I wanted to match a dollar sign, I would have to escape the dollar sign with a backslash. So that's exactly what it's doing here, because otherwise it's 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 a special character. For example, uh, the dollar sign is uh, indicates the end of the string here, and uh, if we wanted to match the round brackets, for example, we we'll also have to escape that as well, because round brackets. Okay, so I haven't gone over gone over the round brackets yet so what the round brackets mean is uh, basically we capture our match so you can see here if I roll over the mouse cursor over the hello world I mean hello word it's saying group one so that's how we capture it in group one and it's showing it here if we wanted to uh, capture another group we would create another um, round bracket and uh, capture that as well. Now the world will be in uh, capturing group two, which is exactly what it's saying here, and uh, and etc. So the more uh, you use round brackets, the more capturing groups you're gonna have, and this will make more sense as we actually start programming and uh, designing the script in PHP. Uh, the, the groups that are matched will actually be uh, stored inside of an array, and uh, They'll make more sense later on. So you guys can play around with this. Make sure to download this cheat sheet and uh, just uh, go ahead and play around with this text and uh, see if you can do some unique matches and just start getting used to <clears throat> using these uh, regular expressions to match whatever you want. And make sure to check out the next video where we're going to be doing something practical. We're actually going to be matching. Uh, let me show you here if I copy this URL here. We're gonna go over some of these. Uh, we're gonna go to imdb.com, which is a movie a review site, and we're gonna match all these movies uh, along with their names, uh, reviews, description, all the stars and directors, and we're gonna match all of that using regular expressions. And then later on, we're also gonna save that all in a database and display it uh, in our own website. Okay, I hope you guys found this video useful. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Clever Techie out.